Aura Dam, a self-recycling hydroelectric dam for the generation of electricity, and Aura Cleaner, a sweeping robot. These are two innovative projects designed by Queen's College's team Aurora and which they presented at the 2023 First Lego League Asia-Pacific Opening Robotics Competition in Sydney, Australia. The girls were the first to represent Nigeria at the championships. This is Queen's College, Lagos a government-owned secondary school in Yaba. But it's not just the traditional education that goes on in here. The school has a STEM and robotics club codenamed Team Aurora. In here, the girls engage in hands-on STEAM activities that foster the critical thinking, problem-solving and creativity skills. It is also in this room that the girls came up with an innovative project that they presented at the 2023 First Lego League Asia Pacific Opening Robotics Competition in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Queen's College's team Aurora was the only all girls and only African team represented at the championships. It was also the first time Nigeria would be represented at the competition. We didn't come back with a cup, but we go in there, we were winners. Like we came back as winners because we being the only African schools there is a lot. So we took ourselves as winners, even though we didn't carry cup, any cup. But the fact that we went there, we experienced a lot and we came back, we are winners. The team had developed a solution based on the designated theme for the competition, Super Powered. It's super power is all about finding the solutions and problems based on the transmission of electricity. So we researched on how um, electricity is transmitted, how it's generated. We actually found out during our research that there are actually three processes of transmitting electricity, the generation, the regulation, and the transmission. So we came up with an innovation project, Orodam, which is self-recycling, and it uses water as its renewable energy. We use this project to solve the problem of the epileptic power supply in Nigeria. Um, this project is actually affordable, is mobile, and it is very, it's detachable. It's, we can move it anywhere, and it runs on water, which is renewable energy. This is Orodam. Orodam is a self-recycling hydroelectric dam. It has two compartments. The upper compartment which serves as the reservoir that houses the water and the lower compartment which houses the turbine. The reservoir has two inlets and one outlet. The inlet is used for recycling purposes, while the outlet is used to release high pressure water on the turbine. As water leaves the reservoir, it flows through the outlet and heats the turbine, which spins the turbine, producing mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is then converted to electrical energy using the alternator. It then takes it, then takes it to the step-up transformer, which increases the voltage and to the step-down transformer, which regulates this voltage, depending on the level of consumption. In the lower compartment, two pressure pumps are attached to it to recycle the water back to the reservoir. It also has an outlet, which is used to remove waste from the lower compartment. This produces electricity. Apart from being innovative, teamwork and collaboration are two skills that the girls demonstrated. But it wasn't easy getting to that point. Initially, working together was not an easy task, as we are all from different grades. But as time went on, we learned that working together was truly the best, as that is the only way we could achieve a common goal. It also wasn't easy for the girls to complete the task, as they come from different classes and disciplines. But with their dedication and passion, they were able to work together. 
we have different timetables. As an art student, my timetable is different from those in science. So when we are in science, me I'm in art, and they are in science, we all come together. Like for biology now, I'm, I offer biology, but I'm an art student. So maybe during biology period, when our teachers are not in classes or we don't really have things to do, we come here, then we go back to our classes and meet up and copy notes. We had times, we had routines for everything. We always, have, we always have the time, even though we come here, we don't allow it to affect our studies because during CAs, we give ourselves a break, like, especially during period that we were having tests, we didn't come for some particular period of time, and after our test, we came and we still embarked on the journey. As students, they had limited resources to work with, but with the support of their teachers and family, they were able to maintain a positive attitude and be creative. We have different challenges like building the oral dam. When we were building the oral dam, the materials were either not enough or they were too, were too bulky or we could not fix the wires. Those are challenges that we faced when we, when we were building the oral dam. We had to solicit for funds from our principal and she helped us to the extent that she could by supplying us with kegs. And for the rest, we decided to improvise. For our turbine, we used CD plates, plastic spoons, and super glue to come together. And for the pressure pump, we recycled a car wipers engine to recycle water back into the reservoir. For the whole structure of Oregon, we had to use one of our tables to we had to break one of our tables down and reconstruct it into the present wooden structure of Oredam. Our parents encouraged us because this world we are now is full of technology and nobody wants their child to get to be lacked in anything. So our parents supported us in different ways. We got encouraged from different our friends and we were so glad that we went for the competition and we came back as winners. Exposing youngsters to STEM education is the first step when preparing them for the future of work. And by making it a part of their school curriculum in Queen's College, these talented young girls have been put in the spotlight as they showcase what their innovative minds are capable of.